Hey guys, welcome back to a new series of tutorials. Um, in this series of tutorials, we will be working with Windows 8.1. Um, yeah, so the last few months, I guess, actually a year already, when after Windows 8 came out, many people were having troubles. Uh, so many troubles actually with Windows 8, having problems and etc. So with this series, the goal of this series is to gather up all those problems and then to have a solution for each and every single one, each and every single one of those problems. So this will be like a guide for you. Whenever you have a problem, you could come up, you could come and just watch the videos and find a solution for your problems. Um. However, before I go ahead and start this tutorials, I do have a couple of announcements for you. Um, first of all, obviously, as you can see, this laptop is not my laptop, or actually, this desktop is not my desktop. It's my brother's, as I'm working on. Um, that's why it doesn't look so messy like mine. <laughs> and the second thing is, I decided to do something actually really, pretty fun. Um, I set up kind of a schedule. Mondays I will be working with Windows 8. So if you guys have any problems and troubles, any troubles with Windows 8, please comment them below. And I will. I always read all every single comment you guys do, but I don't have time sometimes to reply to all of them. It's not only I don't have time, but sometimes they are a lot, and I can't reply to every single one of them. But I do read them all. And I do consider all of your suggestions. So if you have any problem, please comment it or inbox me, and I will work on solving it on the following Monday. So every Monday we will be basically we'll be working with Windows 8, troubles, problems, and new tricks or whatever. Okay. Um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, either one of those days will be a programming day. So we will be programming different software different kind of programs um, so you get so you actually can have some skills with the programming um, I'm not sure what we're gonna start doing but it will start with something pretty basic I mean yeah we did some programming gaming programming with C sharp that was pretty fun actually you could go ahead and watch it on my channel so yeah and uh, now third thing we're gonna do is on Saturday Sunday Actually, it's either Thursday or Friday or weekend. I'm not sure about it. I'll let you know about it later. But one of those days, we will be doing Battlefield 3 tutorials. So I'm I'm actually going to rebuild Battlefield 3 on computers. Okay. So we're gonna code the entire game. First of all, we're gonna excuse me. First of all, we're gonna design, model, lighting, animation, all of that, and we're gonna program it. And we're gonna rebuild Battlefield 3 on computer. We'll leave that later for another day. But just to let you know, um, this is the schedule: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and there will be one more day. So definitely stay tuned for all of them. All right. Um, one more announcement I got for you guys: If you go to, from um, I have a website launched already. If you just go to Computer Tech 251. The time guard. Time guard is my main website. And then computer tech is just a sub domain. Hit the, go there, and I set up a very very basic website actually, where you could navigate around, and you will find all different lists of my videos. So I categorized everything. So all videos related to how to hack will be there, and speeding up your computer will be there, and so on. Um, yes, it's pretty basic. I'll be adding more stuff um, later on, such as forums, blogs, and etc. All right. Um, also, the good thing about it is, for example, if you go to the memory matching game, when you click on it, it actually shows you three different sections. The one on the very left side is going to show you the video list, all the parts of this specific category. For for example, for the memory matching game, we have all six parts, or yeah, all six parts right there. Also on the right side, you you will see two different panels. One says extra information, one says the project files. The extra information is what what you're gonna need. For example, Photoshop will be needed, and Microsoft Visual Studio will be needed as well 
in this tutorial and also the good thing is that all are linked so when you click on Photoshop it takes you right away to Photoshop the official website so you could download it from there same as Microsoft Visual Studio I mean it's pretty fun tool I just built and now the other good thing is on, on the project files you'll find all the projects that we I mean sorry all the files that we're going to be using for this series for example you can download the project file the Visual Studio file just click on it and it should start downloading right away as you can see right there um, some of them are source code files so they will open in a notepad or whatever on your browser it's just this I included the source I included the source code on the website for that game and here you can find it you could just copy and paste it that's the entire code um, you also have you also have the pictures such as this one the PNG the card pictures when you open it you could really just try to click on it and save image as um, that's pretty much it for those stuff that's pretty much it for the announcement but yeah um, yes, it's 12:35 a.m., which means we are we are on Tuesday already. But an exception today is Thursday. All right, so let's stop talking. That's that was six minutes already wasted. I'm sorry, I do apologize. I'm not gonna repeat that, but yeah, let's get let's get to work. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to system restore. A system restore basically is, let's say I have file. Let's say today is. 8th of July right so 7 8th is 14 now on the 10th of July like two days after two days I get a virus and my computer and that virus I for some reason I just can't remove it now there is something pretty cool we could do we could do something called system restore system restore erases everything you have downloaded within those days or everything you have downloaded so the points you want to go back so on 10th of July, I'll say, okay, I want to go back to the 8th of July. So anything I, down, I downloaded between the 8th of July to the 10th of July will be removed. Downloaded, saved, or whatever. Even a virus. So this could be useful also if you have removed something today and in the next couple days you need that thing. So you could just go back in time and then you will have your files. Um, I know this everybody like most people know this actually this, this way but on Windows 8 um, not so many people really know it so it's called a system restore it's a pretty easy process so let's get to work all right the first thing you will need to do is on your keyboard hit on the start menu or just go on the Windows logo and click on it now on this menu you could either click on the search button up there and start searching or you could just start typing whatever you want and it will also search so first thing I will search ah alright sorry so the first thing I will search for is system restore now I would like you to go to create a restore point now if you if it pop pops up like that and ask you for a password go ahead enter your password or you can enter a fingerprint as well now when this comes up you could choose you could just go to system restore hit the, hit on system restore and wait till loads and now on system restore just click on next and now gives you the dates that he, the, that the system could go back into so the system the last time it made a restore point was on July July 1st at 3 o'clock p afternoon p.m. description things were installed and were updates so I had updates installed that's what pretty much happened and if you double click on it it gives you even more more details onto what was installed so double click and it tells you Hey, you have installed uh, the Broadcom wireless LAN adapter, this, and Visual uh, Visual C++, blah blah, install crude, and all that kind of stuff, and a driver. Close that. We don't need it. So now you could just hit on next, and 
it will just confirm that this will be restored to that date would you like to continue then you would hit on finish and system restore cannot be undone so when you when you restore your system you can't really forward into time again like you can't just go back to July 10th again that's impossible so system restore cannot be undone until after it has completed if system restore is big is being run in safe mode or from the system recovery option menu it cannot be undone which is in our case um, when you click yes it's gonna start restoring however I don't want to restore right now if I restore the video will be paused or actually be redeleted and I don't want that to happen therefore I will just wrap it up for this video and before I wrap it up I'll tell you something actually when you click on yes it will your computer will freeze your screen will freeze it will take about a couple of minutes then it'll restart and then when your computer starts again or boots again all what you do is click on finish and you're done um yeah that would be all please if you found this helpful make sure to support my channel by subscribing liking and share share it thank you have a good day